guys, it's Victoria Go Back from the Halifax Convention Center to see what people are wearing to this year's Halcon. I'm here with Ellie, and Ellie, can you tell me who you're dressed as today? I'm dressed as Moxie from Huluva Boss. It was my most favorite movie ever. <laughs> so I've always liked Belle. I make all my own costumes, my hats, all of that. I did it all myself. So I bought the supplies and the I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. So I wanted to make something that was like a little more, you know, realistic and um, well-made. So that's what I did. Between reusing other clothing and material, I uh, kind of just throw stuff together. And the lining is um, uh, old curtains from my house. And I showed my mom and she was like, are those our old curtains? So my dress is actually made out of uh, black curtain panels. This was made from curtains. I took a cartoon that I liked, uh, My Little Pony actually, and uh, I kind of made my own character for that and made the suit from the character. Well, you are super cute. Uh <laughs> Thank you. The bell costume took maybe a week. So I started about two weeks ago, and I've worked on it every moment that I had available. Wow. Most of it was spent on this pocket. This was about 10 hours of hand embroidery. You made it? Uh, how long did that take you? That took me all summer. It's very impressive Thank and very you. terrifying. <laughs> what makes you so passionate about cosplay? I find it's very fun to dress up as characters that I either like really adore or relate to. I love the character that Buffy is, of like a strong female character. I find a lot of people who are just in the norm don't really understand this and the creativity that goes behind it. Some of it is more advanced techniques than others. Like the tunic was based on a pattern I drafted. This is a pattern that I draped. The belt is a chicken nugget boxes that I duct taped together. Pop culture things, video games, TV shows, movies. Um, among like-minded people, and you feel at home and welcome. The people here are really lovely. And just having this big community here where I know I'm not like the only cosplayer in the town like I was when I was growing up, you know, it's such a big thing now. So just a lot of really nice people here. Get to wear costumes, get to meet cool people and do things like this. A lot of cool people come to Halicon and they have a really good experience, and so all the people come back. I think I've only missed one year since uh since like yeah. 2010. We've been coming as a family for, I don't know how many years, like many, many years, and the kids really love it. My passion of cosplaying started when I was 10. We used to do Klingon for almost 25 years. Over 25 years? Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's how we actually met. I love the people. Everything just means so much. You get to meet some amazing folks who are just like really, really nice and super supportive of everything. Coming here is a big part of my life, and it's one of my very big passions to do this. It's just community acceptance. <laughs> yeah. Inclusion. Inclusion. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. You high look five. so dope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have by the bear. Yes. Yes. You've made my con. Thank you. No problem. I love furries. Thanks, you guys, for coming on this journey with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. For CBC News, this is Victoria Gobek in Halifax.